Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today I want to discuss how you can organize on your iPad and your iPhone, synchronize it with iCloud, and all of that organization will also translate over to your Mac. The first thing we're going to do is go into our Files app, which is the white icon with the blue folder. I want to use the iCloud drive so that it syncs across all of my Apple devices. So I touch on the iCloud drive that shows you all of the contents. Now you'll notice that you have folders already created, GarageBand, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, Scanner, Shortcuts. Most of the programs that Apple provides will have default folders for you. But you can also create, as you can see here, you can create your own. The first icon at the top is the folder with the plus that will create a folder for you so if you tap on it see it creates an untitled folder and you see the folder name is highlighted and just put in a name hit done then you can select the items you want to put in that folder you would hit select at the top again next to search hit select notice that each item has a circle so if you tap on an on an item you see it has a check mark down at the bottom you have share duplicate move delete and more we'll get into more a little bit later but let's tap on move you hit move then it says okay where do you want to move it so you would go down and you would find that folder just by sliding. So test one, tap on test one. See it says the folder is empty and then it has the name of the file, pass keys in iOS 17, hit move. Now when you look at test one you'll see it has one item in it. If you tap on that you'll see the one item is there. That's one way to move files into a folder. Another way is if you hit select and tap on two items okay then go over to more down at the bottom hit more and then you see it says new folder with two items it will create a folder and put those two items in it automatically so it this kind of saves you a step all you need to do is hit that untitled folder and then just label it to whatever it is. Now, some of the things that, that you can do, let's say you make a mistake and you want to put those things back. Open the folder, select, tap on them, say move, tap on iCloud Drive under locations, and then hit move. Now you, you'll you see your, our test 2 folder is empty. We're going to do the same with test 1. Select, tap on it, move, iCloud Drive, tap move. Now let's say you want to get rid of those two folders. Again, select, tap on test 1, test 2, and hit delete. Now, if you have files in there that you no longer need, you can leave them in there and it will delete everything, the folder and all its contents, but that's up to you. So that's how you can create folders and add items to that folder, two methods. You can create the folder, give it a name, hit select, tap on the items you want to put in that folder to move, or you can hit select tap the items you want in a folder, hit more, and then create a new folder with however many items you've selected. The next icon I want to talk about is, you see those four squares up there? Tap on that. This is your view. Right now, we're in icon view. If you hit list, you'll see it'll take your folders and put them in a list and it has your date and time off to the right. Your next choice is columns. 
Now, this, you notice you have a right arrow next to the folder name. So if you go Apple 1 to 1, that folder's empty, you see. Cole's football, you'll see if you hit it, off to the right you have another column. It has the number, all the files that are in there. And then you just hit your back button and you go back. You can use whatever method you like best. Uh, for the iPad, I like the icon method. On my Mac, sometimes I'll use the list. All depends. Below that, where that upper carrot is, you'll see it has name, kind, date, size, and tags. Now, the name, kind, date, and size is the sort order. So right now we're sorting by name. You could sort by the kind of file it is, meaning its extension, whether it's a, a number spreadsheet, if it's a, a keynote file, a pages file, etc. For the date, that's the date it was created or modified, the size of the file. Now, tags we're going to get into in a little bit, so we'll just leave that for now. But I'm going to go back to the icon. What are tags? So if you look down on the left-hand side, you'll see tags with the right arrow. Hit it, and you'll see that you have these tags. And they're just, the name on it is the color of the button. So green, gray, orange, so on and so forth. And Well, important, I didn't change that one back. Okay. So what you can do is you can name each of these tags. You touch it, and it says rename green. So if you hit that, it's going to say, okay, what do you want to call it? Now, green, we maybe we associate with money. So we're going to say, we're going to call this tax. Tax items, how's that? Okay, done. All right. Blue... I'm going to change that name. I'm going to say music done. And then I'm going to change important, just red, change that. And I'm going to say vids for YouTube. Okay. So now we have, and you can, you can rename any of those to whatever's significant for what you want to do. So, in this particular thing, I want to say, all right, we could create a folder for tax. So, we're going to hit select, and we're going to select a couple of spreadsheets that pertain, that potentially could pertain to tax information. All right, so we have, you see at the top it says four items selected. We're going to do more. We're going to create a folder. We're going to label that. See where it says untitled folder. We're going to say tax items. Done. All right. Now we have four items in our tax items. Now, all right, what does that have to do with tags? So let me show you what a tag does. Now, you can have items in a folder and also have them tagged. So let's, just for sake of argument, I'm going to... All right, so if you touch and hold on an icon, a file, and you hit tags, it's going to say, okay. So I'm going to label this one tax item. All right? Tap out of it. Notice you have a green dot next to that file. All right, now I'm going to go down to our tax items. And I'm going to select and more tags, tax items, done. Now they all have, now I have four in the folder and one outside because maybe I created it and I, I didn't put it in the folder yet. But let me show you what that does for you. Now, when you're here and you say, I want to get all of my tax items, if I touch on the tag item called tax items, it takes all of those items, regardless of where they're stored, meaning inside a folder or inside multiple folders, and it puts them all out there for you, creates what I'll call a virtual folder. 
So that's a way of, if you tag a particular file with whatever's pertinent to that file that you're creating, you can gather all of those items just by hitting that tag. Now, at this point, I could, you see the first one there, if I wanted to, I could select, boom, hit move, right? And then go down to my tax item folder, tap it, and then you see it says, okay, now I'm in tax items. There's the file down the bottom, hit move. Now, notice it took it away from the base, and it's now in my tax items. Now, I've created, just to show you how, how this works, I've created a folder with videos. We can do the same thing. If I hit select, and I select all of these videos, okay, more, tags, and see where I have vids for YouTube? Check that. Hit done. Now, if I go back to my iCloud Drive, and I, you know, I, maybe I forgot I had that folder, or just quickly hit, oh, vids for YouTube, boom. Now, I had, you see, I had these two items, crowns and financials, I had them labeled earlier, and now, oh, they're, they're not what they should be. So, if you hit select, tags, I can change that. So this should really be a tax item. Or I could have it in both places, you see? See? I could have it in three places. So if you have files that cross lines, you can have them in multiple tags. Very nice feature. See, now that I have it in tax, ta under tax tag, it moves it out of this folder. Again, virtually tags, uncheck YouTube, boom, there you go. So now if I want to go back to my tax items, I hit that, and there's all of the seven items with the, the, the ones I had and the two new ones. So again, it's creating a virtual folder to show you all of those items, and you don't have to have them in a, in a separate folder, but I kind of like to do both because for me, I, I like to have this nice clean look on my desktop. For example, the, the, the two keynotes, if I wanted to create my Apple one-to-one -one folder, right? I hit select, boom, let's see, uh, pass key, okay, those, move, and then I select my Apple one-to-one -one folder, move, those three items are now in the Apple one-to-one -one folder. That's how you can stay very organized on your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac. And you have several methodologies. You can create folders. You can change the sort order or the view of your folders, meaning uh, icon view, list view, column view. You can create tags change the name so that it's something viable to what you're doing. Use those tags to quickly get at all of those items, whether you know they're in a folder or not, as long as you tag them. All right, I hope that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.